the WTO and this country are Iran, uh, Serbia, Algeria, and Turkmenistan and Azerbaijan, Sudan, Belarus and Bosnia in the Herzegovina. So definitely there are the option of this none of these is the correct answer. Option four is the correct answer. Next another question for you uh, today's session. Uh, there are the Avasuddin SK. Welcome. Uh, good evening. Good evening to all. Uh, who is of the following statement is not correct in this question both the uh, both the IMF and uh, there are the uh, IMF and IVRD have headquarter in the uh, Washington and both IMF and World Bank are the no as the Vitin Woods twins and there are the IVRD is known as World Bank also and India's uh, votes here in the international uh, monetary very interesting question uh, this question is who is of the following statement is not correct and uh, you know every Saturday and every Sunday at 7 30 p.m. every Saturday and every Sunday 7 30 p.m. Uh, my live session for FAC and uh, NTA net geography and today's session economic geography and they are very interesting question my I will explain every question and every explain with uh, elaborately explain and this question basically you know uh, India's here in the international uh, monetary fund uh, vote share is 2.64 and of the total vote while the April 2018 and uh, India quite in IMF is uh, 2.76 so uh, there are the definitely uh, their answer is option 4 is the correct answer uh, India's vote share in the international monetary fund is 10 percent okay and uh, Tandrima welcome Tandrima welcome uh, to my channel must uh, today's uh, very different schedule actually I was busy uh, their environmental day once again today world environmental day and uh, but there are some schedule the, they are problem and uh, uh, today's many uh, students they are engaged the different webinar but uh, my channel already settled uh, there are the economic geography live session every uh, every Saturday Sunday uh, basically every Saturday Sunday 7 30 p.m. Uh, my life uh, must be watching and if you are new must you subscribe my channel and share my channel and uh, very interesting and this question on the scheme and uh, which of the following are called uh, the veteran woods twins very important imf and international bank of reconstruction and development and imf and world trade organization ivrd and world trade organization and none of the above so uh, definitely i will explain basically imf and uh, ivrd uh, was founded all the together and uh, there are the uh, you know, uh, in uh, 1946 in the US, and this is uh, why uh, they are called uh, the Bretton Woods Twins. So definitely their answer is option one is the correct answer. IMF and International Bank for uh, Reconstruction and Development is the correct answer. Next, another question for you. Uh, following uh, institution is associated with the very interesting question. Which uh, of the following institution is associated with the Tinkle proposals? Basically, World Bank and uh, International uh, Monetary Fund, World Trade Organization, United Nations Organization, and uh, very important this question. Uh, you know, uh, Uruguay. Uh, they are the Uruguay round of uh, the GATT uh, on multi uh, uh, multilateral trade and uh, negotiations has, has given uh, birth to the jungle dubbed and world trade organization was also uh, given birth by the uruguay round so uh, definitely their answer option c is the correct answer world trade organization is the correct answer and uh, next another question for you very interesting question uh, this is the number six and uh, number six therefore is one of the following sector provide most of the employment in delhi and Mumbai and Chennai and Kolkata very interesting question who is one of the following sector provides most of the employment in Delhi and the Mumbai and Chennai and Kolkata you know there are the primary secondary service and quaternary service very interesting must will comment 
their question number and answer and live chat uh, must will comment and quickly there the number six question who is one of the following sector provide and most of the employment in delhi mumbai and chennai and calcutta very easy question uh, for you uh, so definitely their answer is the surface is the correct answer option three is the correct answer service uh, is the correct answer next uh, another question option three uh, service uh, is the correct answer avasuddin sk weather very bad condition okay okay tandrima sarkar uh, tandrima sarkar question number must will type their question number then option okay must will type question number and their option proper option uh, first of all type the question number then their option next question next very interesting question question number seven uh, who among the following has used the uh, first time the ranking coefficient method of agriculture productivity very interesting question uh, there are the uh, question number seven uh, rapid uh, question uh, basically uh, who among the following has used for the first time the ranking coefficient you know the ranking coefficient of the method of agriculture productivity uh, agriculture productivity uh, rank coefficient you know uh, basically uh, there is stam ali stam mohammed uh, safi and uh, mg kanjal and g andel nad uh, basically there are the four option uh, for you ld stam uh, uh, there is some spelling mistake ld stam and mohammed Safi and MG Kendall and G NAD. So definitely, you know, very uh, common question. Uh, and the MG uh, Kendall option three is the correct answer. Option three uh, is the correct answer. And uh, Tandrima must will type the question number and answer. Okay, must will type their question number then their option. Next another question for you. Uh, there are the question number eight. Uh, gives. Martin index gives Martin index is used for the measurement of very interesting question and uh, there the gives Martin uh, gives Martin index is used question number eight question number eight you know uh, very interesting question and common question uh, maximum time there UPSC and NTN8 uh, gives Martin index is used for uh, for the measurement of uh, crop specialization uh, specialization crop diversification crops concentration and crop combination very interesting I will explain this question. Basically, uh, you know, there are the uh, crop diversification is intense, uh, intended there to uh, give a wider choice in the production and of a variety of crops and the given area so as to expand and the production and related activities on the various crops and also their relation risk. So, uh, definitely, there are answer. The crop diversification is the correct answer. Option two is the correct answer next very interesting question uh, question number nine uh, you know question number nine there are the uh, very interesting question the process of conversation uh, the process of conversation of productive land to arid or semi-arid land is known as very interesting deforestation deformation and there are the landform and uh, desertification all question uh, they are the not for online available and uh, there are very choiceful question uh, every saturday and sunday and this uh, my question level and question quantity and question quality basically uh, question quality and uh, depends on the uh, maximum upsc and nt net uh, you know must be practice uh, with uh, the question number nine and the process of conversation of productive uh, land uh, to arid or semi-arid land is uh, known as basically deforestation deformation and landform and desertification so uh, you know uh, my i explained this question basically you know uh, desertification is uh, classified into two types and there are the moderate desertification in which 10 to 25 uh, drop in productivity and one more is serious uh, uh, desertification is in uh, which there is more than 50 percent drop in the productivity and this desertification led to uh, depletion of groundwater so uh, you know uh, there are the uh, de desertification is the correct answer must will carefully listen their option basically desertification is the right answer desertification is the correct answer option four desertification i explain and uh, there are the desertification basically is classified into two types there are the moderate uh, desertification in which 10 to 25 uh, 25 percent drop in productivity and uh, 
one more is serious uh, desertification in which uh, there is more than 50 percent drop in productivity so uh, this desertification led to uh, depletion of the groundwater basically okay and uh, next another question uh, for you question number 10 question number 10 that the uh, hydro uh, ponic uh, is uh, a technique of growing crops without water, air, soil, and sunlight. Very interesting question for you. Uh, very uh, their short question, but uh, their answer is very related option. Uh, their uh, hydro hydrophonics is a technique basically of growing crops and without uh, water, air, soil, sunlight. So definitely, I explain every question. Sabuddin SK option 3. Sabuddin, welcome. Uh, Sabuddin option 3. 10 question option 3. Okay, I explain. Basically, uh, basically, a uh, must will uh, carefully uh, read option 3. Uh, yes, yes, right answer for Sabuddin. Thank you. Uh, option 3 is the correct answer. I explain uh, this uh, question number 10. Basically, hydroponics is uh, the technique of uh, growing plants uh, in a soilless medium or an aquatic based environment and hydroponic is a subject to the hydroculture basically hydroponic growing use the mineral and nutrient uh, solution to feed the plants so uh, there are the definitely option three is the correct answer soil uh, basically is the correct answer thank you and uh, next another question for you question number 11 is very interesting uh, question number 11 uh, you see uh, basically i use that sabuddin sk i use that okay okay thank you uh, there are 11 question number the land uh, uh, which is abundant and uh, declared as not good for cultivation anymore in known as that the folder and cooks and dirty lands and catchment lands very interesting question number 11 uh, you know and there are the uh, deltic lands is uh, the land that has become uh, de damages and by the industrial or other development and viewed use without any kind of treatment and the treatment that uh, is given for uh, uh, dilated lands are demolition and uh, leveling so definitely uh, this question answer is the uh, deltic lands is the correct answer uh, next another question for you a very interesting question uh, they are just full question the thin layer of green and the substance covering the surface of the earth is called very interesting question there are the mineral soil sand and chemical fertilizers very uh, very uh, interesting question to question number 12 uh, i explain this question basically you know uh, soil is the material found on the surface of the art that is uh, composed of the organic and uh, inorganic material soil various in the composition and structure of it is particles and soil is uh, vital important of the sustainability of an ecosystem so definitely their question their right answer is uh, the soil is the correct answer uh, thank you uh, uh, this is a very interesting question for you another question for upsc internet the greater than the intensity and uh, the greater the uh, greater the intensity and duration of the rainstorm the higher uh, basically the rain erosion potential it is the true and false very interesting question the greater the intensity and the duration of the rainstorm and the lighter uh, and the higher uh, basically sorry the higher the erosional potential and uh, very uh, this is uh, question number uh, two saidul saidul islam welcome saidul uh, saidul islam is a true option and question number 13 i explained right uh, thank you saidul uh, you were right and question number 13 uh, i explained the basically impact of raindrop on the soil surface and can break down soil uh, aggregates and uh, disappear the agreements material and lighter agreements the material such as very fine sand and sealed and clay and organic material are easily removed by the raindrops thank you and uh, this is the true is the correct answer is the true uh, basically correct answer next another question for you uh, there the estimate of the ability of soil to receive the erosion based on the physical characteristics of the uh, is soil is known as very interesting question carefully listen uh, must you will carefully 
when I read this question, uh, estimate of the ability of the soil to reset erosion based on the physical characteristics of a soil is known as the soil erodibility, soil erosion, and there are the soil potentiality and soil neutrality. Very interesting question. Question number 14. And I explain carefully. Listen, there are the texture is the principal characteristics affecting the erodibility. Basically, generally, soil with faster and infiltration rate and higher level of organic matter and the improved soil structure have a greater resistance to the erosion. Okay, so definitely their answer is soil erodibility is the correct answer. Okay, next another question for you. Question number 15, you know, there are the low lying tract of the land enclosed by drags that form and the artificial hydrological entity is known as very interesting question low lying tract of the land enclosed by dikes that form of artificial hydrological entity is known as the boulder resin and the jalits and the catchment area very interesting question and this session question number 15 i explain a boulder basically a boulder has no connection with the other side water other than the through the manually and uh, operated device used and there are uh, three type of the folder they are the land uh, reclaimants and flood plain and uh, less one of the marshes so there are the answer is folder is the correct answer folder is the correct answer you know next another question for you a uh, very interesting question uh, a continuous uh, are of land surrounded by ocean is called very interesting question a continuous are of land surrounded by ocean is called basically seashore bees landmass and wetland very interesting question uh, for the for this session uh, you know there the landmass may be often uh, written as an word to uh, distinguish uh, it from the use of the landmass and uh, which means a measure of land and landmass include covers uh, there are the super continue continents and continents there are the continents and um, uh, hence a land surrounded by ocean and continuously is called as the landmass uh, you know and so definitely their question answer is land masses is the correct answer Saidul islam uh, uh, might be beach uh, sure uh, this is the land mass is the correct answer option three is the correct answer next another question for you very interesting land capable uh, land capable of being uh, flagged and used to grow crops uh, basically is called as uh, Tandrima Sarkar 16 uh, answer 2 uh, 16 answer 3 basically I explain already and uh, now I explain their question number 17 uh, question number 17 land capable of being plucked and used to grow crop is called uh, question number 17 basically I explain there are the arable land is land uh, that uh, can be used for growing and crops and country with the most arable land in the world uh, in is united state and having the share of 10.5 percent of the world arable lands and india stand in the second position uh, with the production of 9.22 percent so basically there are the answer is the arable uh, is the correct answer question number uh, 17 option 2 is the correct answer uh, saidul islam thank you Thank you right answer tandrima uh, 16 uh, 16 answer probably question number three uh, question number three i once again i repeat question number 16 i once again question number 16 basically i explain uh, basically question number 16 you see uh, basically landmass may be often written as one of word there are distinguish it from the use landmass and which means a measure of land and landmass include the super continents uh, and uh, hence a land surrounded by the ocean and continuously is called as landmass okay uh, so there are the answer is landmass is the correct answer question number 16 so now i explain the question number 18 
very interesting another question for you uh, you out of the total land area how many million hectare uh, out of the total land area how many million hectare of the land suffer from degradation very interesting question for you out of the total land area basically you see the careful list in their option 150 175 and 200 225 so i explained this question uh, you know there 175 million hectare of the land area suffer from degradation and land degradation is caused the largely by soil erosion but also uh, by the water logging and excessive salinity the high degree of degradation will affect the existing land resources so definitely their answer is 175 is the correct answer 175 is the correct answer next another uh, you see there is a question number 19 while release uh, sulfur dioxide gas when they burn true or false carefully quick reply and quick type there are the live chat uh, there are the live chat uh, while uh, releases sulfur dioxide and uh, there are the sulfur dioxide gas when they burn it is true yeah false very interesting question i explain uh, basically in this question basically you know uh, while release sulfur dioxide uh, gas when then burn and uh, this sulfur dioxide gas cause the uh, breathing problem for living uh, creatures and along the health and issue and this sulfur dioxide which is emitted from oil also and cause acid rain so it is a uh, true is it is a uh, true basically answer is the true and uh, next another question uh, very important question number 20 question number 20 and uh, the most nuclear fuel used in the world is very interesting question the most nuclear new uh, clear fuel uh, used in the world thorium 232 uranium 238 uranium 235 and plutonium 239 very interesting question question number nine option one tandrima sarkar right you are right tandrima thank you uh, 19 question number one is the correct answer <coughs> sorry question number 20 the most nuclear uh, nuclear fuel uh, basically used in the world uh, you know i explained and this question the most used uh, nuclear fuel is uh, uranium basically uh, uranium uranium uh, two uh, 235 it is uh, radioactive material uh, metal and uh, nuclear fuel like uh, likely there are the like uranium uh, do not want to release energy and instead the fuel are involved uh, in the nuclear reaction in the nuclear reaction in in the nuclear reactor basically uh, so uh, this is uh, the very interesting uh, option three is the correct answer option three uh, uranium uranium 2235 is the correct answer i explained basically the most uh, the most use uh, nuclear fuel is uranium 2035 it is radioactive metal and uh, nuclear fuel like uranium do not burn to release energy and instantly uh, there are the question number 20 option 3 is the correct answer uh, basically and uh, instead the fuel are involved in nuclear reaction in the nuclear reaction in the nuclear reactor basically okay next another question question number 21 uh, you see question number 21 uh, some internet problem so uh, definitely i off my cam and uh, do uh, must you understand and in the uh, in the production of wave energy uh, which form of energy is used for basically potential energy kinetic energy and solar energy and wind energy choice your correct answer and type and then send if you are new must will subscribe and must will click their like button okay their question number 21 uh, you know the water is in the uh, water in the sea rise and uh, fall because of wave on the surface and wave machine use the kinetic energy in this moment to drive electricity generated and wave energy also known as ocean energy and wave energy is essential power drawing uh, from the wave so there are the definitely there are the kinetic energy is the correct answer kinetic energy is the correct answer next there another question question number 22 uh, you know uh, there are the fruit 
fruit bearing trees are renewable food source it is true yeah false very interesting question uh, fruit bearing trees are renewable food resources uh, sources basically there are the true and false very interesting question uh, for you question number 22 i explain uh, question number 22 question number 20 option 3 right right tandriva your answer is right question number 20 option 3 is the right answer and uh, at present now uh, uh, there are the fruit bearing trees are renewable food source question number 22 uh, fruit bearing trees are renewable uh, fruit resources renewable uh, food resources are those that uh, may be able to sustain and themselves against all the type of extreme harmful condition and environment condition and uh, produce year after year you know question number 22 tandrima option 1 uh, right answer tandrima option 1 is the correct answer option 1 true is the correct answer next another question for you question number 23 you see there are the apiculture apiculture means a rearing silk month and the rearing cattle and the rearing horses and we kept very interesting question very common question and every time uh, every one years and every six month every after there are the upsc exam and uh, nta net also this type of question net and said exam uh, apiculture apiculture basically uh, you know i explained this question the word apiculture uh, comes from the latin words basically apis apis means bee you know apis means bee and apiculture is the care and management of the honey uh, bees for the production of honey and wax so during the bees uh, keeping certain uh, pre quaternary uh, and the major are uh, taken basically so there are the definitely uh, their answer is option 4 we uh, keeping as the correct answer question number 23 uh, sorry 23 on answer is 4 uh, basically tandrima uh, 23 apiculture apiculture Uh, basically apiculture means uh, the word apiculture come from latin words apis uh, means bee bee uh, apiculture is uh, care and uh, management of the honey bees basically for the production of honey and uh, and wax and during the bee uh, keeping the certain apiculture uh, measurement and taken so bee uh, keeping is the correct answer option 4 4 is the correct answer option 4 next another question question number 24 uh, if you know and uh, if you see the 24 question number energy is released uh, energy is uh, released from fossil fuel when they are pumped cooled burnt and pressurized very interesting question for you i select every uh, in this my channel there have several live session must you watching if you are new uh, must you watching there are the several live session and that make good result for upsc and internet and i uh, in this in my channel uh, there are the saturday and sunday lives and also there are upload video and you see there are the cyclone documentary video you see the different uh, geographical video also documentary and uh, there are the bengali language and the hindi language and english language also uh, there are no problem in bengali hindi and english so definitely uh, enjoy uh, with my channel and energy is uh, released from fossil fuel when they are basically uh, you know i explain uh, this question number 24 basically fossil fuel are uh, fuel because uh, they release that energy and when they are burned basically and they are fossil fuel because they were uh, formed from the remain of living organism billion of years ago and some of the example of fossil uh, fossil fuel uh, are coal uh, oil and uh, natural gas so definitely option 3 is the correct answer tandrima thank you and uh, thank you to all who is the proper answer option 3 is the correct answer sabuddin and uh, uh, i i will actually uh, hear the comment uh, uh, saidul saidul islam sorry saidul thank you uh, your answer is correct next another question you see uh, there are the next another question question number 25 a uh, question number 25 uh, which is the major source of animal uh, protein in the earth uh, who is is the major source of animal protein in the earth there are the milk egg fat and fish very interesting question 
विच इज द मेजर सोर्स ऑफ एनिमल प्रोटीन इन द अर्थ वेरी इजी एंड कॉमन क्वेश्चन यू नो क्वेश्चन नंबर तंद्रिमा ट्वेंटी नाउ एट प्रेजेंट ट्वेंटी फाइव क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी फाइव साइदुल इस्लाम फीस फीस इज द करेक्ट आंसर यू नो फीस इज द करेक्ट आंसर थैंक यू क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी फाइव बेसिकली फीस इज द मेजर सोर्स ऑफ द एनिमल प्रोटीन इन द अर्थ एंड फीस आर एक्वेटिक एनिमल्स एंड हुई इज सीन इन द ओशन एंड अदर वाटर बॉडीज एंड इट कंटेन द हाई अमाउंट ऑफ प्रोटीन नोएड इज फीस आर अराइज इन द फिशर इज बेसिकली सो देर आर द फीस इज द करेक्ट आंसर ऑप्शन फोर फीस इज द करेक्ट आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी सिक्स इज इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन फॉर यू देर आर दुईज इज द वर्ल्ड बिगेस्ट वाइल कंजर्मिंग कंट्री देर क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर तंद्रिमा थैंक यू तंद्रिमा सरकार थैंक यू हुईज इज द वर्ल्ड बिगेस्ट वाइल कंजर्मिंग कंट्री वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन एंड मस्ट विल क्रिक लाइक बैटन एंड दैट्स मेक इंस्पिरेशन एंड इन दिस क्वेश्चन देर ऑप्शन यूनाइटेड स्टेट ऑफ अमेरिका एंड जापान इंडिया एंड चाइना एंड दिस वेरी के लिए आई एक्सप्लेन दिस क्वेश्चन द यूनाइटेड स्टेट इज द लास्ट लार्जेस्ट कंज्यूमर द वाइल इन द वर्ल्ड एंड अकॉर्डिंग टू ट्वेंटी परसेंट ऑफ द ग्लोबल वाइल प्रोडक्शन एंड द यूनाइटेड स्टेट कंजर्म एटीन पॉइंट फाइव मिलियन बेरियल्स ऑफ and while japan stand uh, third the, the india is fourth place and china in the second place so definitely you know there are the united state of america is the correct answer question number 26 so definitely another question question number 27 and uh, you know must will comment uh, and uh, what is and how a uh, feel in this session must will type how feel in this session and uh, what is uh, the main uh, there is a state uh, true of the false and uh, nordic countries and consumption of the energy per capita is among the highest in the world uh, you know tandrimat sarkar the 26 question number 1 right 26 is answer is right uh, net very slow uh, okay okay actually sometime there uh, is a high speed of internet and sometime so definitely must will if you are display quality is poor condition if you touch their skin and uh, must will click the right certain uh, right side there are three dot and there are advanced display quality uh, increase uh, 360p ya yeah, 7 uh, 480p ya yeah, 360p so definitely clear skin automatically internet uh, automatically display uh, is clarity and at present now there are stated true or false that the countries and consumption of energy per capita is among the highest in the world that is true and false question number 27 you know the nordic countries are the countries who is at the situated in northern europe and uh, northern ireland are the northern the nordic countries and generate only moderate emission level of greenhouse gases and comprise to other developed the countries and this is the related to other lower de- uh, their dependency on fossil fuel however their consumption of energy per capita is among the highest in the world so definitely there is the true is the correct answer option 1 true is the correct answer next another question very interesting for you total primary energy consumption of fuel total primary energy consumption of fuel in the world is led by the coal nuclear hydro and oil very interesting question for you total primary energy consumption of the fuel in the world is led by and these are all suggestive question for an nta net 2021 and also upsc examination and today's very interesting session for you there are at present now question the total primary energy consumption of the fuel in the world is led by 27 uh, one uh, right uh, tandrima your answer 27 question number 1 but at present now 28 question number 28 total primary energy consumption of the fuel uh, basically you know consumption of primary energy of the fuel in the world is led by oil with the consumption of 33% the consumption of coal is 30% and consumption of nuclear is 4% the consumption of hydro is 7% uh you know uh, the basically this question i explain i explain again question number 28 consumption of primary energy of fuel in the world is led by oil and with the consumption of 33% the consumption of coal is 30% and consumption of the nuclear 
uh, is 4 percent the consumption of hydro is the 7 percent so definitely uh, this question is the oil is the correct answer thank you and uh, next another question for you question number 29 the position position of the india in time of production of aluminium is the fourth third two and first there are the uh, option one fourth and third and second and first very interesting question the position of the india the term of production aluminium aluminium position who is the position aluminium uh, basically 29 question number india basically stand the fourth position basically fourth position in the aluminium production in the world and china stand the first position in the aluminium production in the world and russia in the second place and canada is the third place and the aluminium production in the india around 2750 ton so definitely there are the uh, fourth uh, the option one is the correct answer and uh, next another question for you uh, there are the question number 30 for the policy for the policy level guideline for a mineral sector which policy is formed national resource policy and the national mineral policy and the national regulatory policy and the national legislation policy very interesting question question number th 30 uh, you know the national mineral policy was uh, stirred in 1993 the main aim of the policy is liberalization of the meaning of sector and who is encouraging the flow in the uh, investment especially is the private investment and the mining in uh, 2008 reform and the address in the area of mining sector basically uh, so definitely there are the question uh, answer is option two is the correct answer national mineral policy is the correct answer next another question question number 31 where is the first oil well the drilled in asia very interesting question where is the first oil well there the well well the drilled in asia karachi pakistan assam india Tokyo, Japan, and KD and uh, Sri Lanka. Very interesting question. Question number 31. Basically, oil deposits uh, were the first second basin in the Digboy in 1989. In the 1901, and Asia first oil refinery was said at the Digboy in the Assam. And the Digboy is all well, the oldest oil and well the opening in the India in order to look after the oil business in the Asia and Assam oil company was formed in 1899. So definitely their answer is question number option two, the Assam India. Assam India is the correct answer. Next another question, question number 32, uh, you know, on the most uh, Tandrima 29, 29 answer one, right? 29 answer one, 28 option four, and definitely uh, continuously watching, must be watching. The most abundant available fossil fuel in India, 32, question number 32 at present now question number 32 the most abundantly available fossil fuel uh, available fossil fuel uh, tandrima sarkar 31 option 2 okay uh, 31 uh, 31 option 2 31 option 2 right 31 option 2 right uh, at present now 32 the most abundantly available fossil fuel in the india that the coal natural gas petroleum and oil you know i explained there the Coal is mostly abundantly available fossil fuel. In the India, there are the different form of the coal availability. There are the peat. Peat is the produced by the uh, decay of the plants and swamps and the bituminous. You know, it drive its the name in the liquid and called the bituminous and uh, lignite. Basically, this form used for produce electricity and anthracite. It has more than 90% carbon content per kg and it is the waste quality of the coal. So definitely there the coal is the correct answer. Coal is the correct answer. Next another question, question number 33. The who is of the below theory is the related to non-renewable resource. Very interesting question. Who is of the below theory of the related non-renewable resource uh, related to the non-renewable resources? The GAM theory and there are the uh, um, Big Bang theory and Hutling theory and there are the uh, Philipson theory uh, very interesting uh, very question this question question number 33 and this theory is proposed by uh, Harold Hurtling uh, basically this theory stated that the owners of the non renewable resource will only produce a supply of their product if it will yield more value when consumed in the compare to other uh, their 
financial instrument available to them to a market like the bond and interest bearing the securities basically so i explain again basically this theory is proposed by uh, harold hatling this theory stated that owners of non renewable resource and will only produce a supply and their product if it will add more value when compared to other financial instruments available and uh, um, basically uh, there are the uh, 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 instruments available to them on market like bond and interest uh, bearing the securities basically so uh, answer four is the correct answer hartling's theory is the correct answer next another question question number 34 the world first 100% solar powered area uh, solar power airport basically located kochi kerala bengaluru karnataka chennai tamil nadu mumbai maharashtra very interesting question the world first 100% solar power airport 100% solar power i explain basically kochi international airport the fourth largest airport in the india the term international traffic and uh, now runs the entirely on the solar power cochin international airport become the world first fully solar powered airport on the 18 august 2015 and also uh, there are the option one cochin kerala is the right answer next another question question number 35 who is among the following is a major program that was started to replenish the damaged forest agriculture teacher culture silviculture and horticulture very interesting question number 35 basically uh, silviculture is a practice of controlling the composition growth and health and quality of forest for uh, various needs basically so definitely their answer is the silviculture is the correct answer next another question number 36 the government launch the ganga action plan project in 1985 the main purpose of the project over the ganga river make it is water pollution free and utilize and the river water for the irrigation purpose and promote the growth of water animal like fish in the river so definitely their answer uh, you know the make it the water pollution free basically uh, the aim of uh, question number 36 uh, basically the aim of uh, gap is uh, reduce pollution load in the river ganga and pollution including the human and industrial and region the, the religious waste Uh, so definitely the solution free is the right answer next another question for question number 37 for you a uh, very interesting question who is among the following was a major they are covered by the chief co movements very interesting uh, question you know we lost the sundarlal covered by the chief co movements to promote the more and more development projects to involve the community in the forest conservation effort and to improve their the forest conservation effort in sack of development and none of these very interesting question question number 37 at present now uh, i explain to involve the community in the forest conservation effort basically uh, there are the question number 37 uh, to uh, involve the community in the forest conservation effort basically the chief movements objects where to end the Ali, um, alienation of uh, people from there at the forest and teach the people of participate in the management of the forest ecosystem so basically there are the right answer to improve the community in the forest conservation effort option 2 the involve the community in forest conservation effort is the correct answer next another question number 38 who among the following founded in the uh, namdhari movements very interesting question who among the following uh, founded uh, the namdhari movements baba dayal singh baba ram singh mahmud hasan and jagat mithara very interesting question uh, tandrima 20 37 question number option 2 option to right right 37 option 2 is the correct answer next uh, at present now 38 who among the following founded the uh, namdhari movements basically uh, baba dayal singh baba ram singh and mahmud hasan and jagat mithra uh, basically you know the namdhari movements was founded by baba ram singh uh, his followers were right and white cloth and give up meat eating and hence the b is the correct option so uh, it is the baba ram singh is the correct answer baba ram singh 
and uh, so another question number 39 who among the following founded by the nirankari movement very important question uh, nirankari movements basically who among the following founded the nirankari movement baba daldas baba ram singh mohammad hasan and jagad mitar so basically there are the question number uh, 39 you know baba daldas uh, founded the nirankari movement he instead the ownership of the god as nirankar basically formils and ends the correct option uh, basically there are the baba dwaldas is the correct answer uh, so uh, next there are the uh, you know the industry uh, industry classification i will uh, i will upload my video another video industry there are classification you know uh, i today i not explain uh, elaborately but you know there are the base of labor industrial classification there are the large scale medium scale and small scale and the raw material base of raw material when we will classify the industry heavy industry and light industry and there are the base of ownership and when there are the sector private sector public sector joint sector and cooperative sector and multi uh, national and when the base of source material uh, base of a uh, source of raw material there are the industry classified there are the agro based mineral based and the uh, pastoral based and forest based and you know there are the miscellaneous base when you classify the industry miscellaneous base there are the village cottage and consumer and there are the ancillary and basic and capital and labor um, intensive that is the industry basically classification i will create another video for industry classification basically uh, you remember there is the uh, labor uh, base of labor base of raw material base of ownership and base of source of raw material and miscellaneous so uh, definitely uh, today's session uh, at present now thank you uh, for watching and i will next sunday live oceanography basically important coming sunday uh, means uh, tomorrow i live the 7:30 uh, pm sunday live uh, uh, there are the must will watching and if you are new must subscribe my channel and share to all thank you thank you to all